Some people still don't get the reality of why uninsured motorists is so important and how to use it. So I wanted to share a story with you about a recent telephone call that we had with a potential client. My name is Kim Cullen and I've been a personal injury attorney for 31 years and my law firm has recovered tens of millions of dollars in damages for deserving clients. So we received a call recently from a gentleman who was involved in an accident. The person who hit him had a limited amount of insurance coverage. He had injuries that were probably worth more than the insurance insurance coverage available and he was interested in talking to us about pursuing the person that hit him individually to try to get uh, money over and above the amount of insurance that the person had. When we talked to the gentleman we discovered that he carries uninsured motorist coverage and uninsured motorist coverage for those that don't know is coverage that steps in the shoes of uninsured drivers or perhaps adds an extra layer of coverage over and above the bodily injury liability coverage of a person that hits you. So it turns out this individual knew that that they had uninsured motorist coverage, but they didn't want to use the coverage. They, instead, they wanted to go after the person who injured them. Well, going against an individual and trying to collect damages is fraught with problems. First, most people don't have liquid assets to pay any kind of damages over and above what they carry in insurance. Secondly, you could go get a judgment against a person and then try to collect on that, but that would take possibly years. It would to eat up court resources, it would eat up court costs, and eventually what you'd get is a piece of paper, a judgment with a number on it, and then you'd try to have to try to collect it from the person, and maybe try to garnish their wages, and maybe they move jobs, or they declare bankruptcy, or there's all sorts of reasons why it's really, really difficult to collect money from somebody. So this individual just refused to make a claim against his uninsured motorist coverage, he just didn't want to do it. And so we were trying to talk to him and explain, this is why you carry uninsured motorist coverage for situations just like this. So so I know you don't like it and I know everyone's afraid that their insurance rates are going to go up. They shouldn't because it's a not at fault event, but nevertheless, people are afraid of that. But that's why you carry the coverage. You pay the money in case something like this happens. So to, to not make a claim against your own insurance company is only enriching one person or entity and that's your own insurance company who's been collecting your premiums for all this time is very happy not to pay an uninsured motorist claim if, it, if it's ever presented to them. So the moral to the story from our perspective is. If you carry uninsured motorist coverage, of course nobody wants to use it, but that's what it's there for. Use it. Make the claim, receive the money and damages, and then move on. I mean, that's exactly why you pay the premiums. If you have a question about a car accident or a question about uninsured motorist coverage or how any of this confusing Florida insurance stuff works, please give us a call. Our number is 407-254-4901. You can always visit our website at www.cullen-hemphill.com.